Now we have what we call uh, axis of rotation. An axis of rotation is an imaginary line that goes through an object and the object rotates around it. The most, uh, one of the most uh, common ones is you think of the Earth. The Earth has a, a North Pole, has a South Pole. It has an axis that goes through those two poles. Our Earth rotates around that axis. Now, an airplane has three. We have the longitudinal axis, so when the aircraft does this, we're rotating around that axis. We have a horizontal this way, so when the aircraft does this, we're going around that axis. And we have a vertical going this way, so when an aircraft turns like this, we go around that axis. Now, I have another little toy here. And this represents that. These white wires represent the axis. And if you notice carefully, you'll notice at one point, all three of them cross. Where they cross is called your center of gravity. Now, all the motion of that airplane goes around that center of gravity. On an airplane, because it's up in a three-dimensional space, you can change the center of gravity simply by uh, for example, filling up this fuel tank and not filling up this one. So this side of the airplane is heavier and our airplane will try to fly more like this because our center of gravity now is out here rather than here. So on an aircraft, we have to be careful to load it properly. If not, it won't fly as efficient as it should. And that is our axis of rotation and center of gravity.